this slide is an important slide so keep it in mind there is a maximum number of times only you can write the examination general or ews four chances are there general ews pwd category seven chances in case if you are from any of these category scst pwd scst pwd there is no restriction that means there is an upper cap on the number of times you can write the examination i always speak from my 17 years experience either it should be your first attempt or maximum in your second attempt you should be able to clear if you are taking more attempts definitely there is a correction required in your preparation there is somewhere something is going wrong in your journey of preparation now let us talk about i told you in, in, in an SBI PO examination, there are three checkpoints. The first checkpoint is SBI PO prelims examination. SBI PO prelims examination. Let us talk about how many marks are there, what will be the question mark, how many questions will be there, is there any negative mark, everything we will discuss. This is the pattern of the SBI PO prelims paper. SBI PO prelims paper mainly checks a student on three parameters. One one is your language skills, which is English language section. These language, English has 30 questions. Each question, write one mark, 30, ones are 30. Maximum marks are 30. Duration that will be given for you in this section is 20 minutes. Next comes the quantitative aptitude, which we call it as numerical ability. Numerical ability, 35 questions will be there. Each question, one mark, 35 marks. What is the time limit? If you see these thing, the duration versus number of questions, if you see an comparative analysis, almost for every question, you do not even have a one minute also to solve the question. 30 questions needs to be attempted in 20 minutes. 35 questions needs to be attempted in 20 minutes. 35 questions needs to be attempted in 20 minutes. Definitely, SBI PO prelims examination is an exam of fastness, is an exam of knowing as many shortcuts as possible. It is an exam of speed. It is not a marathon race. It is an 100 meter race. And it is a preliminary examination. Only if you clear this SBI PO examination, you will get into the mains examination. Totally, how many marks are given for SBI PO prelims examination, 100 marks. How many questions will come? 100 questions. 35 percentage weightage to reasoning ability, 35 percentage to quantitative ability, 30 percentage to English language. That means you need to prepare for three sections. One is quant, next is reasoning ability, which I am calling it as LR, next I am calling it as verbal ability. Quant, LR and verbal ability. Now we will discuss in detail what are the topics that will come in quantitative aptitude, what are the topics that will come in reasoning ability, what are the topics that is coming in verbal ability, we will discuss. 35, 35, 35, you are going to sit in an examination where examiner will check you on 100 marks, 100 questions and the time duration is 1 hour. It is just a 60 minutes examination. In one hour, you have to showcase your talent and qualify yourself for the mains examination. Now, if you see here, three sections, everything. Now, the students might get a doubt. Are there any negative marking? There is a negative marking of one-fourth mark. So, Please do not draw a snake diagram or any diagram that comes into your mind while writing the examination, right? So for every incorrect answer, there will be a one-fourth negative that will be applicable. In case if you do it right, there will be one mark given for one question. Therefore, 100 marks, 100 questions. Now, if you see here, these last three to four lines are very important. Let us read it. Candidates must know that the sectional cutoff in the prelims examination has been removed and the overall score of all the sections will be considered for selection into the next round. Please make a note of it. There is a wrong information that is being spread, right? It is clearly mentioned that 
Candidate must know that the sectional cutoff in the prelims examination has been removed. Prelims exam has three sections. Every sectional sectional cutoff has been removed. Overall score only will be considered to the next round. Cutoff or minimum passing marks for the each section is decided by the bank each year depending upon the difficulty. The section wise division of the marks is below. These are the marks and everything. In only if you qualify for the prelims, prelims examination, you can get into an mains examination. You have to get a score which should be greater than the cutoff mentioned by the SBI PO prelims examination authority. Therefore, you will get a chance to get into the mains examination. Now, if you see here, this is this is the in the tree diagram, first level is verbal lang verbal ability, quantitative aptitude, and reasoning ability. What will come under verbal ability? What will come under quantitative aptitude? What will come under reasoning? Let us discuss in detail. Let us get into the second level of tree. Now, if you see here, under verbal ability, what are the important topics a student should focus on? A student should focus on reading comprehension, student should focus on fill in the blanks, student should focus on close test, student should focus on para jumbles. These are the high frequency topics that comes in your examination. Paragraph completion, vocabulary, multiple meaning, Sentence completion, tense related rules, these are the some important topics. If you observe carefully, RC is an extremely important topic in your SBI PO preparation. After RC it is vocabulary also it is important. Other good number of topics are from verbal logic, para, paragraph completion, write and close test and fill in the blanks, para jumbles followed by primarily three important topics you need to be good in, in verbal ability. One is in grammar, another will be in verbal logic, another will be in reading comprehension. These are the three important areas that comes under verbal ability, that comes under verbal ability. Sir, then what will come under quantitative aptitude syllabus? What will come under quantitative aptitude? In any of the bank related examination, the most important topics are in number system, simplification, approximation. Whenever you are solving questions in simplification, you need to know the unit digit concept, you need to know the last two digits concept, you need to know the divisibility rule of a prime number concept. You need to know when digital sum is used. You need to know when digital sum cannot be used. How to approximate a given values. So, this is an extremely important concept. These are all under arithmetic related things. Almost every topic from arithmetic starting from percentage family. What is a percentage family? Percentage and its application of percentages in profit loss and discount, simple interest, compound interest and installment related problems. Then comes the ratio family. Once you are comfortable in ratios, how to use it in ages, how to use it in partnership related problems, how to use it in TSD. TSD can be a derivative of percentages and ratios. How to use it in time and work related problems. How to use it in averages, mixtures, allegation, removal and replacement. Now if you see what are the important topics. Now if you see the most important topics for an SBA PO exam is number system. Next is arithmetic. Next is DI. And next is mensuration. In algebra, probably there will be few questions that will come from a topic, certs and indices. Most important topics are number system, arithmetic, DI, very less number of questions will come from mains. This forms the major chunk. This forms the minor chunk. So in quantitative aptitude, which topics you should focus on? Number system you should focus on. Number system, simplification, approximation, LCM, HCF related problems. 
basic understanding of numerical value application should be very very comfortable for you these are all the topics of arithmetic should be given an importance then in algebra as i told you before see right see thirds and indices sequence and series plays a very very important role in mensuration i have seen questions coming from mensuration 2d as well as mensuration 3d the best thing about anil nayar classes target sbi po batches entire classes in quantitative aptitude are taken by me 35 percentage of the questions come from quantitative aptitude verbal ability classes are taken by a bishma pitamaha of entire india he is a teacher who has been teaching verbal ability for for one of the finest cat coaching centers not for two or three years his age his experience forget about age his experience in life should be greater than 1.5 times your age from last 40 plus years he has been teaching verbal ability probably there is no other teacher in india who might have seen that many years of competitive examination journey happening and he is the most reputed teacher target sbi po batch because it is an sbi po batch the level of questions are coming at a different level the faculties who train you are the faculties who has been training for cat examination i personally as a founder of anc do not believe in substandard teachers do not believe in part time teachers who are just graduates earning money without adding the true value sbi po is considered to be the toughest examination out of all the examination under banking category so ensure that you get mentored properly this is the syllabus of quantitative aptitude now reasoning let us see the syllabus reasoning almost like every examination only the level of difficulty will be increasing number series coding series data sufficiency related things seating arrangement the various kinds of seating arrangement linear arrangement circular arrangement it can be a rectangular arrangement it can be a floor based arrangement so on and so forth seating arrangement is a very how you arrange the seats in any order you can arrange depending upon the conditions you have to map it coded inequalities puzzle related questions alphabet test related questions ranking and order related questions input output related questions tabulation related questions will come sbi po reasoning will be one notch above ibps po examination reasoning verbal ability and quantitative aptitude remember 100 questions are given 60 minutes only is the time duration that is given to you it's very very important for you to write clear this cutoff to get into it as i told you write on paper it is 65 to 68 on hand after deductions you will get a starting salary of 41,960 there are some right incremental process which is there depending upon which scale you will get into right these are some of the so the compensation per annum on c to c is a man at a minimum of 8.2 lakhs and a maximum of 13.08 lakhs please understand my dear friends at the age of 21 plus you are getting a government job that to a position of probationary officer a probationary officer in a village can alter the employment of that particular village by giving a lot of financial aids to them depending upon their financial strengths so minimum 8.22 maximum 13.08 lakhs is the ctc that will come depending upon the place of posting and other things i'm sure this should be an greatest motivating factor because right now most of the freshers start their software job at a salary of anywhere from 2.5 and depending upon their skill they can go up to 6.57 unless and until they are from the top universities where a good product based companies will pay greater than 10 or 12 lakhs now we have seen the salaries that will come we have seen the topic wise listing that will come now let us see what is the cutoff 100 marks are there now if you see 59.50 is the cutoff marks what do you mean by cutoff marks you need to cross these marks to write the mains examination in case if you get less than these marks at the prelims your story 
came to an end. Your story will have a comma if you cross these cutoff of 59.4. One hour time is there, 60 minutes time is there. The cutoff marks is also close to and closest integer of 60. That means every minute you need to get one mark. Every one minute, 60 seconds will give you one mark. If you just do not know the best way to solve a question, you are almost out of this journey. As per the category, these are the various cutoff marks. This is a PDF. I will keep it in pinned comment so that you can go through it as a reference. Category versus prelims cutoff. Now, if from last two days onwards, a lot of students started messaging me. Sir, will you be starting an SBI PO live plus a recorded batch? Sir, live batch probably the duration is very less. Live batch take an advanced level questions. I want a recorded content as well as live content because I am a person who is writing examination for the second time. I wanted to revisit that topic where I do not know a lot of shortcuts based on innumerable numbers of students. Thanks to entire South India students, we have just launched the course. Within launching of 30 to 40 minutes, almost maximum number of the number of students who purchased the course has crossed a three-digit number. That is the power of the right teacher's efficiency in the class. I and another teacher with 40 plus years of experience will take the class. This is a special batch designed for 500 students. I want 500 Spartans who will put their 100 percentage of the effort to get into it. Sir, what does this course cover? Everything I will discuss in detail. This course covers four important topics. In, in fact, there are three sections. I am combining DA also as a part of quantitative aptitude. Right? This course is a combination of recorded course and a live classes. Quantitative aptitude, reasoning, English, data interpretation and data sufficiency. Everything other than DI and DS, I am going to put under reasoning. These four areas, it is a combination of live plus recorded. Sir, is the course in Telugu medium or in English medium? The course is in bilingual. Separate folder is there for Telugu medium. Separate folder is there for English medium. Sir, does this course cover test series? I want to attempt mocks. Should I pay extra? You do not need to pay extra for the first 500 students. For the first 500 students, a test series is also added to you absolutely free. Absolutely free it will be there. The mains journey will get over by January end. So the validity of the course keeping in mind the mains examination that is expected to happen. Probably we kept a validity of six months. This course is a combination of recorded course and a live class course. Right? This course will also gift you an additional test series also absolutely free to you. That is point number two. 